Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation for a binomial probability distribution. The mean for a binomial distribution is found by taking n, which is the number of trials that are done in your binomial experiment, times the probability of success p. Remember that you must always use mu when you're talking about the mean of a probability distribution because you're talking about the entire population, and so it's a population parameter, so we would use mu. The variance is sigma squared, is the notation that you would use to represent the variance. And for a binomial distribution, this is the easiest hand calculation out of all of the types of variance. Um, and all you have to do is n times p times q, where n is the number of trials, P is the probability of success, and Q is the probability of failure. The standard deviation is always found by taking the square root of the variance. So you would just take the square root of N times P times Q. Make sure that anytime you are dealing with the binomial distribution that you do use the correct notation. These are parameters because they are talking about the population distribution. So the case that we have here, a die is rolled 21 times. Find the mean, the standard deviation, the variance, and um, if a success is considered rolling a five. I'm also going to discuss with you what would be considered an unusual event. Okay, so let's find the mean first. So the mean is equal to n where, let me write down all the important information first, sorry. Um, so before you start, you always wanna find your important information. N, remember, is the number of trials that you have, so N is going to be 21. P is going to be the probability of success, and in this case, the probability of rolling a 5 is always 1 out of 6. And the probability of failure, which is Q, is always 1 minus P, and in this case, it would be 5 sixths. Okay, once you figure out your important information, then you would go through and find your mean, your variance, and your standard deviation. So the mean is always going to be n times p, so we would take 21 times 1 sixth. So when you do this and you plug it in, you end up with 3.5. So the average roll of a die 21 times, or out of 21 times, we would expect to see 3.5 fives out of 21 rolls. We know we can't ever get this, that's the one thing about the mean, um, is the mean does not have to be possible. It is impossible for us to actually roll 3.5, but if we were to do this infinitely many times, um, the average number that we would see is 3.5 fives out of 21. The next thing that we're going to find is the variance. And the variance, remember, is n times p times q. So you would take 21 times 1 sixth times 5 sixths. And I am going to round this one. Um, this one does round to 2.916 repeated. So you could put a repeated around it, or you could say 2.917. It is best to not round for the next calculation. It's best to just put into your calculator the square root of your answer, um, just because of the fact that if you do round it, your standard deviation may be off slightly. Um, so the standard deviation, remember, is found by doing the square root of the variance. So we can just take the square root of 21 times 1 6 times 5 6 and in your calculator what you would do is just do um, the square root of your answer so this is approximately 1.708 to three decimal places so out of 21 times Okay, so if a die is rolled 21 times, out of 21 times, we would expect to see 3.55s rolled on average. Okay, um, and the standard deviation
of 1.708. Okay, um, with this, you can also find unusual events to see what would be unusual. Unusual events are more than two standard deviations. above or below the mean. Okay, so if you were asked to find unusual events for this, what you would do is you would just take your mean and you would do plus or minus two times the standard deviation. So let's um, look at both of those. If I do my mean, which is 3.5, minus two times 1.708, um, we get 0 0.084, and if we do 3.5 plus 2 times 1.708, we get 6.916. So it would be unusual out of 21 rolls, so um, it would be unusual to get zero fives or seven or more fives. Okay, so really we would expect to see one, two, three, four, five, or six. Those would all be considered normal. Anything on the outside of that becomes unusual. And while it could happen, it's just not as likely to happen. So as a recap, remember to find the mean of a binomial distribution. This only works for binomial distributions. You take the number of trials times the probability of success. The variance is the number of trials times the probability of success times the probability of failure. And the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. As always, thanks for watching. Please continue to check out all of my other video content. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know.